was a joke when I first saw her. I mean, about, what, about a month ago? I thought it was Neil Cavuto dressed up, you know? <laughs> oh. I was talking to my ex-wife about reincarnation. Which one of your ex-wives? The one in Florida. Okay. And I said, uh, I said, you know, when you come back, you have to come back as a different species. She said, well, I want to come back as a pig. And I said, well, you're not listening to me. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Wait a minute. That's, on, not, that's not funny, Fred. <laughs> yeah, they, there's something really funny about it. I don't know what it is, but there's something really funny. Okay, I never met Fred. I never knew Fred. Over the years, as a big Don Imus fan, I just heard Fred. But you know what? I liked Fred. I liked his brevity and his crassness and his wit. And I liked the way he and his brother Don played off each other on the air. But you know what I really liked? The way each would wrap up that conversation on air. After the zinging, Don and Fred closing with just these three words. I love you. The irascibles, suddenly lovable. David Hinckley of the New York Daily News wrote of Fred, and I quote, he came off as a cowboy born after his time, a man who spent a lot of time riding the range of his private thoughts, a love for a brother whose success he didn't resent, reciprocated by that successful brother's eagerness to put him on because he didn't forget. You got the feeling that these two brothers had been through much. I suspect much bad, much tough, much hard. Much more than words could ever say. So they didn't really say it. In the end, you just kind of got it. This week in particular, filled with so many screaming politicians, we could do worse than remember Fred. I'm sure I speak for Don and Fred and their entire extended families, especially at Fox Business Network, when I say this, the silence is deafening. Fred Imus, dead at age 69.